Hello everybody, my name is George. Welcome to another video. Today we are driving the beautiful Audi RS6 Performance. This thing is an absolute weapon of a car and Audi UK have given me the keys for uh, a while actually. So I'll be taking this on its first proper drive today, showcase how awesome it sounds, show you around the car and uh, yeah, that's about it really. You know how uh, we go on this channel, we drive and then we talk and maybe talk a little bit about the uh, specs of the car and everything, but for now, it's just taking how awesome this thing looks. It's Nardo gray with these huge 22 inch alloy wheels, carbon ceramics, as you can see, it says Audi carbon on there. Incredible, incredible wheels. 285 millimeters um, tires on the rear and I believe on the front as well. Let me have a little look because I think this is running a square setup. Um, I can't see for the life of me where it says it. Yeah, there you go. 285 millimeters, both front and rear. Huge, huge wheels, carbon ceramics all around. And this thing is just an absolute weapon. It's got carbon absolutely everywhere. I mean, it's got the carbon splitter here. It's got carbon um, side skirts, carbon mirrors. Everything is just carbon on this thing. And yeah, it's a very, very nice looking, uh, looking car. Incredible spec. And yeah, today we're going to take it for a drive. I'll show you how it performs. Well, I'll tell you how it performs. We're going to have great sound coming from it because I'm going to set up the mics. So yeah, exterior wise, this is uh, what we're working with. As you know, the Audi RS6 Performance, which is this one, has a 4 litre twin turbo V8 pushing 630 horsepower and 850 newton meters, or is it 620, somewhere there. Um, yeah, about 620 horsepower and 850 newton meters. So it's an absolute weapon of a car. Weapon. In front here, we've got the RS6 badge, of course. We've got the radar um, sensors, the uh, night, night vision here. I believe that is the night vision. I'm not exactly sure uh, where it is, but it's in there somewhere. Once again, we've got a lot of carbon everywhere. So yeah, this thing is just kitted out, specked out. Interior, as you would expect, incredible. Not the most exciting interior, I must say, because it's quite like dark, but it's got leather seats, quilted. It's got red stitching, rest red badge, Alcantara steering wheel, carbon trim everywhere on the door. If I step in, the Audi Sport. Welcome George. It's got carbon trim there on the doors. It's got two sunroofs. This one opens up as well. Obviously I have to turn on the car. But yeah, it's tremendous and this is the view as you drive. So without further ado, let's um, get this baby started and I'll see you in a second. First time you get in this thing and it's in comfort mode you're thinking to yourself, wow, this is such an incredible cruiser. It's quiet in here. It's got double, glaze, double glazing on the windows. It's soft, the suspension is soft. Everything is so comfortable and relaxing. And like, this is such a cruiser, you know? Like I can definitely see myself going to south of France and back in it. I mean, pff, by all means, it's literally so comfortable. And then, you configure your RS mode, your RS mode. <laughs> you press it once for RS1 and then twice for RS2. RS2 for me is configured to be the most aggressive possible setting that you can have on this thing. Slide the uh, gear lever to the left so you uh, put it manual. Downshift a couple of gears. Listen to it. And that's third gear. Downshift to second and you pin it. I mean, just listen to it. Suspension is quite firm when you uh, put it all the way up. This in RS2, it is all the way up for me. And it's quite firm on these B-roads. But listen to it. Ah, what a machine. What a machine this is. 
love the way it sounds, love the way it performs, love everything about it. It's such a good, oh, such a nice sound. Downshift, downshift, and let me build a bit of gap from the guy in front. Oh, what a machine, what a machine. Yeah, you can probably see how exciting this is. And I'll tell you what, I've driven an RS6 before. Let me put this in automatic and back into some sort of comfortable setting. There you go. I've driven this, uh, not this RS6, but an RS6 before. And I didn't really like it back then because it was the normal RS6, the latest generation, but it just didn't really feel exciting. Didn't really feel special. It felt like it understeered a lot. It felt like it did the, you know, the common um, Audi stuff that you are used to throughout history. So I was like, nah, it's nice. It's a very good cruiser and everything, but I don't really want to drive it dynamically. Then Audi UK gave me the keys to this beauty, the RS6 Performance, the latest and greatest. The RS6 Performance is not a new model, basically replaces the RS6 completely. So this is the RS6 now. And with this thing, first impression was like wow what's happened here because the way this handles is unreal honestly from somebody who loves a rear wheel drive uh tail happy car you know oversteery all that stuff you know i'm a bmw guy a porsche guy i love that kind of stuff this thing honestly blew my mind how good it handles it's genuinely that good in turns and whatever you want to do with it if you're on a b-road and you want to drive it spiritedly you can Granted, it's still a big car, it's still gonna lean, it's still gonna be a boat because it's over two tons, I believe. And it's, you know, it's a big old car. However, for what it is, it handles really, really well. As I said before, you can take this to the south of France, UK to south of France or whatever you wanna go, Switzerland, that doesn't matter, Germany, and you'll get there in utter comfort. And once you do get there, you can push it, you can enjoy it. It's got carbon ceramic brakes, so it can brake for days on a track or whatever. One downside for this car is the MBG. I'll tell you, this car drinks like it hasn't seen petrol in 10 years. Jesus Christ. I'm averaging about 14 to 15 MBG on this car. And that's just me driving normally. I drive on the motorway, I drive in the city, I push it a few times whatever you know as a car guy you know how we drive and i'm averaging about 15 to 14 mpg so it's expensive to run <laughs> i'm on lie is drinking my wallet this thing <laughs> however it's an rs6 i mean you don't buy this thing to be economical if you want something economical you get the a7 or the a6 sorry or the s6 but the a s6 a6 there you go a6 would be the best option if you want to get something that's comfortable and economical it's not the rs6 by any stretch of the imagination because this four liter turbo well for the twin turbo v8 will destroy your wallet but if you go 140 grand to spend on an audi which is what this one costs i'm sure uh, spending five six hundred pounds a month on fuel won't be such a such a problem and I say five, six hundred pounds a month on fuel in the lightest way possible because I've got this, I've been driving this for the past four days and I've probably already spent 200 pounds. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. But anyway, this is not what this video is about or what this car is about. So I'm just gonna cruise a bit more, wait for these guys in front of me to, uh, you know, turn or I'll just turn around on this road or find another road. And we'll get to push this car a little bit on these back roads here. Um, on the British uh, British back roads and see what it's all about. So until then, I'm gonna cut and see you guys in a second. Alrighty, so it turns out the road cleared up for us a little bit. So let's push this baby a little bit and see what we can achieve. Just listen to it. Oh, such a nice deep V8 growl. Oh man, the brakes are phenomenal as well. You just feel how it grabs, and you know, with carbon ceramics, I'm always like, 
car, on a street car. I'm not really a big fan of carbon ceramics because you do need to get them really warm before they actually perform. However, with this car, with the RS6, it's not the case. The carbon ceramics are amazing. There we go, that's all we got. <laughs> because traffic, um, that's the biggest downside of this car. Whatever speed you are doing, you'll catch up the traffic really quickly because it's so dynamic. You don't need to slow as much in turns. You, and it just gives you so much confidence that you can actually drive 60 miles an hour when it says 60 miles an hour or whatever speed. It's tremendous, honestly. What a beautiful car. I'll give you a few downshifts. Whoa. Let's see, first gear. Oof. What a machine. Downshift. What a beautiful, beautiful machine. And I tell you what, the gearbox in this thing is unreal. It's a dual clutch transmission and it shifts so bloody fast and it's so accurate, it's not even funny how good this is. You know, in, a, in something like a BMW M3 or the new the M5 that's gonna be coming out, they're gonna, they have the ZFA gearbox, you know, it's an automatic. And a lot of new cars, high performance cars, for some reason come out with automatic gearboxes. And they're great for dailying, I guess, but they lose so much soul. Whereas this thing has got a DCT, a very high performance DCT, and it's not clunky. It's not annoying to drive when it's an auto, when it's an auto or anything, but it's so fast when you have to shift, when you're driving dynamically. I mean, let me slide this in manual. I'm in fourth gear, second. Well, that was third and second. And now I'm in second gear. I'm gonna go first gear and I'm gonna shift up all the way up to fourth. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, it's just, I said fourth, but clearly I can shift up to sixth in like two seconds. And I'm in sixth gear. I'm gonna slow down and shift down as much as I can. So fifth, fourth, third, second, first. I mean, come on. It's just instant. And when you drive it hard, the kick in the back of your head or in the back of your back it's so good it's so good you get to like push a little bit downshift the downshift is just blisteringly quick it's just boom boom and this thing has got a um all the filters for the exhaust all the lpf all the all that bullshit for regulations so it doesn't sound like much it, even this way it sounds pretty good but i can't even imagine how this would sound with a proper exhaust on it with this gearbox i mean it's just insane second floor it not floor it but yeah it's just unreal such a good car downshift again ah oh, what a machine what a machine and that's the thing in this car i said floor it but if you floor it you'll <laughs> you go through the guy in front. I mean, it's got so much power. You can't just, you can't mess around with it, uh, flooring it, because next thing you know, you're doing very high speeds in a matter of like seconds. This thing does zero to 60 in like 3.2 seconds, I believe. It weighs two tons. I mean, how is this thing going to 60 in 3.2 seconds? What, what kind of wizardry? <laughs> it's unreal. Run out. However, I'm in seventh gear, just cruising, downshift, 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 downshift. Just unreal, unreal car. Yeah, I love the way this thing sounds. If I keep it in third gear at like 4,000 RPM. Oh, sounds so good. listen to it what a ridiculous machine this is yeah we love that yeah and with that last poll guys i do wish you all the best <laughs> and i hope i'll see you in the next video until then have a good one and peace out